Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. And today we're going to be showing you some new items that we have in the store to possibly go on your train layout. Let's see. The first thing that we're going to be talking about are some of the building kits that you could possibly build to put on your layout. And I'm talking of course about the Walther kits here, if we can take a look over here. I just put a smattering of a couple of kits that we have here. We're constantly getting these things in stock. And literally we have hundreds of these different kits, both in HO and in N scale, okay? So if you take a look here, I got, let's say I got an N scale two stall brick diesel house. I got a model uh, modern suburban station. Take a look here, I got the 24 seven quick mart. If you want a 7-Eleven knockoff, I also have merchants row number four which is really neat. There's actually, um, I think there's five of them, to be honest with you. We got the uh, Willow Glen Cover Bridge. I think that's a really cool one, especially if you have like a country scene. We got the Santa Fe Interlocking Tower down here. We got the PRR Block and Interlocking Station. We got a modern water tower here. Speaking of the modern theme, if you look over there, we got the modern cold storage warehouse. And of course, the Western Flood Loader. I got a whole bunch of these. As I said, I just picked a smattering. And uh, I just realized I picked mostly HO, but I do have a lot of these in N scale as well. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of prices and uh, numbers because really, I'm going to let you guys do the work. If you go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and you type in the number or the specific thing that you're looking for, for example, I looked up the PRR block at Interlocking Station. I see it shows up at our website, retails for $29.98. We're selling it for $23.98. So that is all those buildings are on our website. So if you want to check out what Walther kits are available, check out our website at yankeedabbler.com and see which ones you can build on your layout. So you're looking to add some new rolling stock to your layout. Well, I got you covered with some new products here from Scale Trains. Check out these 42 foot coil cars. And these are really nice looking cars here. I got a couple of different row names. I got Union Pacific. I got Norfolk Southern. I got CXX, I like that one, I think it's a neat design. And then I got the Ferramex one here. And these are really neat cars because if you lift these up, you're gonna see that I have the capability of putting loads in there. And thanks to the magic of TV, if you take a look at the UP one, there they are, I put the coils already in there. Now they look a little bland as out of the boxes because you have to add some of these stickers here to give it a little bit more of uh, detailing uh, capabilities. But what I really like about these is they're not all the same size, they're all different sizes, just like in the real world, road, everything's not perfect. And so I think that's a really neat addition to add to these scale train cars. These are uh, also with those weights in there, these are actually weighed down pretty good. So if you're worried about having light cars on your trains possibly tipping over, those weights really do serve a purpose. They keep them down and they look good on your railroad. These particular cars are selling for $48.99. And what's really neat is I have a whole bunch of different uh, numbers. So if you want to come up with a unit train or I kind of come up with a, a couple different ones there with different numbers, we got you covered here at Yankee Dabbler. So come on in and put these cars on your railroad today. Talk a lot about freight cars on this channel and rightfully so, there's a lot of great ones out there, but we kind of neglect passenger cars. Well, that's gonna change right now because I'm gonna talk about one of the most legendary trains ever to ride the rails. Of course, I'm talking about the famous Blue Comet. Comet. If you take a look over here, you're going to see some of the passenger cars here I have for the Blue Comet that was put out by Broadway Limited recently. As you can see, I have all the lights already in the cars. I don't know how good they show up on the camera, but what's really neat about it is they actually have a capacitor in there to make them flicker free. So if you have some dirty spots on your track, uh, you won't have the lights cut out on you. I'm going to try to take one of these off. And as you can see, the capacitor there kind of kept the lights on for a little bit. So that is a neat feature to have on your trains as well. As I said, if you have some dirty track there, that's not going to uh, be an issue for you. If we take a look at the detailing that are on these cars, this is phenomenal. I got the different seats in there. I got the, the correct, um, the red color for the upholstery in there. And what's really cool, one of the neat features that I have here is if you take a look at the diaphragms, you're going to notice that they are really close to simulate what they would really look like on the real train. That's kind of one of the things that a lot of these uh, models kind of neglect is they always leave a lot of space in between the diaphragms. So the passengers will have to, I guess, jump from one car to the other. Well, that looks really accurate and I really like that. For anyone that knows anything about the Blue Comet, you know that each one of these cars is named after a specific Comet. And of course, it has the blue and the cream coloring that were supposed to simulate the Jersey Shore. After all, the Blue Comet did go 
across uh, the Jersey Shore. Now, these come in a couple of different variations. I got two, two packs, and then I got two individual cards. So you have a total of six different cards that you can add to this um, to this uh, collection. The individual cards retail for $89.99. We're selling them for $80.99. And then the two packs, let me just check my notes here, go for $174.99. We're selling them for $154.99. So these are, I'm sorry, $157.49. So these are really cool cards to add to your collection. If you're a fan of the Blue Comet, or I, I haven't met some, anyone that doesn't know anything or something about the Blue Comet, you want to come get these to your uh, for your layout because I think these are going to be a great addition to have. One of my personal favorites, that's two of my favorites in the row, I'm talking about the steam engine here all the way from Broadway Limited and straight for the Roanoke shops. I'm talking about the Class A 1218-2664 steam locomotive. As you see here, this is just an absolutely gorgeous design. It's one of the coolest and most efficient steam engines that were ever created. Uh, the Norfolk and Western did a really good job coming up with efficient freight engines that ran quickly as well as efficiently used um, their coal. As a matter of fact, on the tender, they used to have a uh, saying that says, uh, black smoke is waste. So they were really uh, prime on being efficient with their fuel consumptions. Now this particular locomotive, as you can see, has a beautiful uh, uh, sheen on it. It looks like it's brand new right out of the factory. Of course, as I said before, it's a 2664, and it has everything that you expect from a Broadway Limited engine, such as Paragon, um, Rolling Thunder, everything that you would need for it to be a top-of-the-line DCC HO scale locomotive. Now this is the 1218. I specifically decided to show you the 1218 because that's the one that's actually still in existence. If you go to the museum in Roanoke, you can see this engine uh, today. But I also have other different numbers available in the store, such as I think the other numbers were 1228, 1225. I got a couple of different locomotives for you to choose from. And as I said, this is just a great looking engine. I love steam engines. I think that this particular one is one of the best looking uh, articulated engines I've seen from an HO modeler and it's just, it's, it's great. I can't drool over it enough. It's just awesome. So as you know, like we like to do on this show, we're gonna fire this puppy up. So let's get her started. All right, so we're gonna get her fired up. So let's go. All right, got the smoke fired up. Let's take a listen to the whistle.
That's a great looking engine. If you ever actually listen to some of the recordings that O. Winston Lincoln made, uh, you can hear the Class A well represented in those recordings and this engine sounds very accurate to the actual models. So these particular engines are selling for Broadway Limited for $600, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $479.99. That's a great deal for a really great looking engine. And you know what? Just like they did in Dirty Dancing, you know I'll put this baby in the corner. So just like you know that all the sounds that we showcase on all these engines are the actual factory settings but of course all these engines are customizable based on your own preferences you can just go into the factory settings and change the cvs to get the volumes or whatever else you want to be at your uh specific specifications all right well that's it for everyone here at yankee dabbler i want to thank you for tuning into our channel if you're not already subscribed to engineer hall make sure you hit that subscribe button and get caught up with everything I heard if he gets 5,000 more subscribers, he'll do a layout review. So there's something to, uh, you know, shoot for, okay? And, of course, we'll see you again here next time at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.